Okay, so I want to run down the tools that you'll need for these videos. The first thing you're going to need is both games. Okay, so I'm going to just do something for you right now. UT3 is very easy to install. No brainer whatsoever. Now Gears of War on the other hand takes some babying to get it on your hard drive. If you go installing it, the first thing you should do is go to the more options and you'll realize that you can put a check mark in the more option box and right next to that is install editor. Now you might have the problem I did. I have a 64-bit operating system which you have to nursemaid every two seconds to actually get games onto it. So if that's the case all you have to do is uncheck install editor and this is how you actually get the editor open in on in Gears of War. Okay so under Gears of War we have this. Let's see. Once you get it on your hard drive without the editor installed we have program files 86 which a 64-bit operating system has this prefix after the back, back of it and then we are looking for Microsoft games the devil and then in here is binaries and after binaries we'll have the startup right click on this send to desktop create shortcut do this twice send to desktop create shortcut okay so there we go now right click on this one and rename it GOW editor rename this one GOW right click on this one go to properties and back a startup just after the quote type in editor okay so let's set up our desktop so it matches each other and we can have fun that way so I'm just gonna right click on this one send to desktop create shortcut and also send to this one right click send to desktop create shortcut okay so there we go we have the UT3 UT3 editor Gears of War, Gears of War Editor. That way we're got our workflow down. So that's how you do it. Now if you just double click on it, you'll get to the Gears of War Editor. This one has nifty icons. Microsoft cheaped out on us. Alright, so that's the end of the video. And I better stop this video before it actually crashes my computer on top of capturing the full Unreal Editor in all its glory, booting up and taking off all your system memory.